Welcome. Thank you all so much for joining us today. I'm Rupal Patel, Senior Vice President, Fashion Director. I'm so excited to have two incredible women joining us today. I would like to introduce you to Veronica Swanson Beard and Veronica Miele Beard. Welcome, Perfect. ladies. Nice Thank to you meet so you. much. Nice We're so happy you. to be here. I'm so happy to have you here. We have so much to talk about, and I know our customers are really excited to learn more about each one of you. Let's start with my with the first question I have for you. I think most people don't know that you are related. How did you both meet, and how did the brand come together? Well, Veronica and I are sisters-in-law. We're married to brothers, and that's how we have the same name. Um, and we were friends before we started this. Um, sis we were family. And... Um, it was just a mutual love of fashion. I was in the fashion industry. Veronica was in the finance industry. But we both had an equal, you know, obsession with fashion, what was missing in the market, what we wanted in our closets, just a very specific point of view about the line that we would create. And so we came together. And we um, created this. the Dickie Jacket. That was our hero piece, the first piece of this uniform that we wanted to make for the woman who wanted it all. And we were having um, all these kids. Um, I had my, my last baby. We have eight kids between us. Wow. I had eight my kids? last baby even when we started the company, and so did Veronica. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I came from finance where men would get up and put a suit and tie on. Right. And what the heck did we have? What did women have to go to work, to go drop off your kids at school, to go to a lunch? Just a hero piece that you put on and you felt like a million bucks. It pulled your outfit together. Rupal is wearing the Dickie jacket. So and this is our leather. Miller jacket. You know I love leather. It's so our I love leather. leather. And, um, but all the jackets have um, a zipper inside, and you can put in a Dickie. I'm just going to show you what a Dickie is. A Dickie is this insert. And so this is interchangeable. It's one size Dickie. It goes into any jacket or any outerwear that we have. And so you, you can interchange. You can feel like downtown fabulous and wear leather. <laughs> or go to the country and wear a knit. I, I love that. Let's, let, I, I want to talk about your vision and styling, but before we jump into like the... I'm the, just showing you the dicky jacket because this is, <laughs> this is memorable. <laughs> no, and I think that's so important. Like the need that has come, like your experience in finance and then you both coming into a brand and the dicky jacket really, I was going to, like the dicky jacket being like the hero piece of the collection and you launched the brand in 2010. So this idea that the Dickie jacket has now become like that go-to, that hero iconic piece of the Veronica Beard brand, let's talk about, like again, just the jacket in general and how you both are seeing it, especially like, you know, in your own lives. I think it's so important to be like, you both are mothers, you know, you're on the go, you have businesses, family gatherings, you have all of these events to attend to, these PAs. You know, I think women right now are just that, like, Lifestyle. We use that word lifestyle a lot in yeah. our everyday. And I think our customers are really curious with that dicky jacket. Like, how are you both bringing that back into your own wardrobe, you know, in your own life? Well, I think that what you're wearing is the VB uniform. I um, love this uniform. So a jacket is that piece that you have on when you walk into a room. It's polished. You look amazing. You pull, pull together. It's fitted beautiful on you. And I think with a t-shirt and with jeans and heels, it's like the new suit. And for us, that's been such a huge part of our business this fall with return to work and you know everybody sort of going back to life, going back to the office, and sometimes you know a suit is a little bit intimidating. Mm -hmm. A blazer is that amazing option you throw on, you feel ready to go, you're polished, and, um, and the versatility of our dicky jacket is what people love so much because you can have so many different looks well, I'm, yeah. through your dickies. The travel aspect is incredible. If you just bring one jacket and four dickies, you have four different outfits. Like, I would travel with that one with a, the denim dickie, a striped, you know, knit, because I love anything that I has love a, this a stripe. Look. Yeah, the leather dickie, like, you know, um, not leather, this jacket, yeah, but a leather, leather dickie. dickie or hoodie. Is, with the dickie being one of the hero pieces, I think what would be so interesting is how would you both style, let's say, that orange jacket with the... Cable under knit. Okay, so when I worked in finance, I was the girl with the red bag. Mm -hmm. So I love a, a pop color, and this red is amazing. 
and you could be the girl with the red jacket. Mm -hmm. um, we love novelty at Veronica Beard, as you can see. I wear sequins in the day. But I would wear this jacket back to our jeans. Jeans are incredibly important for the Veronica Beard uniform. So I'm wearing the corseted jeans that we're offering in resort. These Such are black. Um, and this silhouette is amazing. Back to any of our jackets. But um, we also have this incredible, if you want to go with blue jeans, this Sheridan extra wide leg. And it's flare. very owed to the... Um, extra flare leg. The flare extra is fantastic. Flare. Yeah. Yeah. It's a amazing. skinny flare. Skinny in the knee and then flare. And this is very much an ode to the 70s. And this is how love. I would wear this jacket. I love the whole ensemble. I would wear eclectic. it to work like this. I would wear it to pick up kids. I would wear it courtside at a really cool basketball game. <laughs> I love the eclectic <laughs> feel to it, right? And that you have a little bit of shine, you have texture, and the flare in the jean. I would wear this jacket. Um, I would wear it as a suit, so it has a red pant too. And I mm -hmm. love a suit. I think that it is... you. When you're in a suit, you feel pulled together, you're polished. It looks sharp and amazing. Um, so I would wear this with a denim dicky underneath it. We have a denim um, jacket dicky, and I love that sort of like classic American look with it and a great heel. Um, or I would wear it with a little striped shirt underneath with boots, skinny boots that were tucked into high, high boots. I love that both of you have such a different interpretation of how you would wear it and where you would wear it. Because again, like now that we're all coming back to life, shall we say, we're going back to office, we're going to events, you just need that one piece that gives you so many different moments within your day or your week. Totally. And I, one of the things I love is like also what, like the sequin, the leather, the stripes, the denim, there's so much texture. And when I look at the rack, like what you have on right here, just that moto jacket mm -hmm. with the knit, is also just such an, again, like, having another option to go to for day. Yeah. If we take a look here well, at how love, you have it with the leather skirt. So this is actually, this jacket, what's amazing about it is the sleeves oh, zip off. <laughs> so we really love versatility in all of our pieces. Um, and this, I think, is a great example of our version of a Veronica Beard suit. I think what's so great about the three things that I'm wearing is I love this skirt. It looks amazing with a knit you know, over the knee boot and a sweater. I love it together as a suit with this, um, with this jacket. This sweater I would wear every weekend of my life, running around after my kids with jeans. And this is so amazing if you go down to Florida and you wear it with like a tank underneath and the, the you know, the leather skirt, it looks amazing. And it's great for day or evening, yeah. right? Like I think people always think of like moto and like you can only wear right. it for day right. or the weekend, but like look at how fabulous yeah. that looks, like dressed up with the sequins. Yeah. I love it's that. a little, again, a layering piece. Back to jeans. Back to sequins. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, look, I love that, you know, I love that you said, I'd wear this to a baby. Listen, you know, it's yeah. holiday coming, and you need pop pieces, you need, okay? Which, and tactile. And so that's why sparkle, leather, it's all, all together. Yeah. It looks amazing. We love sequin, shine, you name yeah. it. Yeah. Especially for Holly, which is something interesting, because I think this was one of the jackets. Yes. So I, when our team really showed me this, I thought this was just so chic with the pearls that. and with all of the elements, you know, how, it's like, like the best just lady this idea of, yeah. like, awesome. having options for evening, because not everything is black tie, right. not everything is cocktail. So this, back this to your incredible. jeans, you're wearing the Blake jeans, by yes. the way, yes. um, just with a pair of slouchy blue jeans, right. to have such a lady moment with the jeans is cool. And by the way, this shoulder pad in this tweed jacket makes it. For your, for your posture, for stature, for making your waist look smaller. We've definitely had a shoulder pad moment in fashion. And yes. um, we're, we're following through. It's an 80s trend. And the, the finishing on this jacket is so chic. I love the length of it, too, that it's longer. And, like, with a leather black pant, it would look so yeah. beautiful with a high boot. Well, I mean, even, like, with yeah. that boot and yeah. the way yeah. you have it styled with the Knee high boots. Of the jeans, so it's so easy. You used a lot of embellishment within some of the evening pieces, mm -hmm. which I thought, now now seeing the sequin jacket, it totally makes sense. Right. But also here, we're going to get to the suit in yeah. one second because it's a, it's a personal favorite, favorite of mine. Too. But like, even just the ease of like some of the pearls and the t-shirts and some of the embellishment. So the dicky being like that main piece, but there's always like an element to layer up, layer under. 
and have just, it seems like everything's fun. Like just with really this, about- with, Jean, with, with this course of Jean, you could go to a party, um, you know, a cocktail party. I, and this is, is great. ultimately, this is just a t-shirt, but our t-shirts have sass. They're fun. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to this next look because this isn't you know for on the runways this season we saw a lot of we saw a lot of crystal embellishment and adornment and I one of my personal you know one of my personal things that always when we're looking at evening is I'm like what if you don't want to wear a cocktail gown what if you don't want to wear a ball gown what if you don't want to wear a cocktail dress or you don't want to be so formal. Like, what's the option that you have? And we talk about the smoking and the tuxedo. My and when I saw this, I was like, oh, my God, they've answered. Yeah. They've answered the question, right? Well, this is the best. The need. So let's because talk about this. this is crepe. It's a satin crepe. It's so beautiful. And I um, am actually wearing this next week to this event. And it is, um, I wear it with nothing underneath. So basically Sexy. you have a bra. And you can do, you know, tape, double-sided tape, stick it to you. And it is so chic, so beautiful. It's, like, effortless, so classic. And I love this trim on it because that's your jewelry. You don't need to have any anything yes. on. This is it. And I love the versatility of this again because this would look amazing with a white T-shirt and a high-heeled sandal. And this would look so good over jeans. Well, that's so you can have two different you yeah. have two different but looks. But also with one, one suit. a bustier with just this pant, you know, yeah. and then the, the jacket over your shoulders, mm -hmm. you know, is gorgeous. Yes. Well, I love the, these like, pants are so amazing because they're they're the fit is so good. The and fit, then but this also it's is so slouchy, slouchy sweater and, option and to wear back. You know, if you wanted just to wear yeah. sort of a, a mellower version of that tux. But you it's could beautiful. wear that for a day, right? Like, if oh, yeah. you wanted to, you could like just, gray, like... With, like, a gray New Balance sneaker would be amazing. Yeah, I was thinking sneaker, yeah. too. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, it's so cute with she the sneaker. She would look so cool in that. But I think that's a part, too, of just being able to have, like... We think of, I think this idea of suiting and tailoring is very archaic sometimes. We think of no. a, a pinstripe suit, and going back to your story about starting out in finance... It's this idea that it has to be very classic, and what you've done is really just bring so much personality and so much, you know, uniqueness and so much fashion to every single jacket in this town that it's... But it's every make, single moment in your life. Yes. Like, I take the trash out with full makeup because I might run into somebody. You know, it's like I, <laughs> I, I would go to work every day and think about, this is my runway. The trading desk is a runway. It's like, what am I going to wear yes. today? When... Um, when, you know, it's holiday time to have that one hero piece. So I'm wearing this jacket today because it's so easy. Every holiday, you can just pull out. This color sequin is champagne, so it goes silver and it goes gold. Yes. And so you, it goes with all of your jewelry. And this next look, I'm not saying that you need to wear it together and be a total rock sure. star. <laughs> Why not? And be a total rock we star. Love, we but love But you could definitely show. walk into a party and, you know, take the house down with this outfit. But, but this also, is the perfect, yeah, this is the perfect back to, look for the holidays. This is I agree. So I mean, like, who doesn't but want to open back to up jeans? You can go this. anywhere, and then you know. And I love this. this back to like a gray flannel trouser that we have. We have that yes. that gray pant. So going back to a trouser yeah, and gray. It's so beautiful. Um, but anyway, this uh, outfit also takes it down a notch. If you kind of want to be that girl who's too cool for school, like yes. yes, I have a sequin skirt on, but I've got this like <laughs> you know casual sweater. Well, we wear sequins for day at Saks. <laughs> I wear so sequins you know. day. We, Right, anytime. I, time. I wore se sequins. We love I sequins for day. <laughs> I like sparkle. What, oh, it makes me happy. But I also, like, before we put that back, yes. I want to just talk one thing and get your point of view. Because I always say, like, gold sequins in particular always feels like a khaki pant. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's a new, and neutral. It's really a yeah. neutral, yes. right? Yeah. So in that sense, when we think about it, and you've paired it back to this plush, luxurious cashmere sweater in, in Hamel, which is, again, like, just the neutrality. So not yeah. to be afraid of... Totally. Of using these as neutrals totally. in your everyday. Or, or navy and black together. Everyone's always like, well, how do I wear that? Well, you wear them together. You wear them yeah. together. Yeah. I love that. That's like and a I fun think, thing. Um, the other thing that we were just saying about suits is the versatility of a suit is so amazing. There was such a big trend this fall of um, the three-piece suit, which we did, mm -hmm. and wearing the vests as tops. And that is such a chic look when you have you know, a trouser with the, the third piece, which is the vest and a blazer, or the, the, the vest and a blazer with jeans. I mean, that's a big look of ours, too. Well, the vest part is something that's really making yeah. a comeback, right? So, like, yes. that's something that, yeah. again, like, formal, not formal, but you've been able... With the layering, I think, of everything that you do, it's almost... 
Well, it's part also of the take, look. It's a take on the man's three-piece suit too. Right. And everything we do has an ode to menswear. Yeah. But it's sexy. It's got a, a you know a fit about it that is very much for women. Very feminine. Well, you know? and the part too is like confidence, right? Like I think yes. we talk a lot mm -hmm. about here. We talk a lot about you know feeling good in what you're wearing yes. and having that sense of confidence. Well, and, and that's why when we went to tailoring, what was so what's so fresh is that. You don't like the jacket doesn't wear you, right? No, you yeah. wear the jacket, exactly. And they're I icons with a twist. So everybody oh, remembers, velvet. you know, in history, the the red velvet suits, you know. And this is the Veronica Beard version. This is that same Miller jacket that you're wearing. Love. Um, and you know, our tailoring is really, really, really well done and thought out, and the fit is incredible. So I urge everybody, put the jacket on. We call it the gateway. <laughs> the gateway I like that. thing, because um, to the collection, she doesn't like me when I say drug, but um, the gateway <laughs> drug to the collection. This, again, back to jeans, is so much fun and so easy, and you're the coolest cat. The full suit, you could go on Jay Leno. Again, it's remember when, remember when, like, when, we, when we, Gwyneth Paltrow we, went on Jay Leno yeah. <laughs> but we talk about, in the full velvet suit, okay? But we talk about, too, like, I love that you're like, you can wear this anytime because velvet, there's a myth around velvet in the retail world that you really only start wearing velvet towards, like, Thanksgiving. Right. So here you have this yes. super chic suit that you're basically like, you can start wearing no, I wore Anytime. that last month in London to our show. It was the best. I mean, it it's so nice good. to know Velvet doesn't have a time, like a, a window of time that you can wear it. Yes. Yeah. And right. this color is so rich. This well, is my favorite piece that you have in your hand. I I, I had to pull this out because I just I think I'm really That's into so I'm, I'm really into shirting Me too. and we're I'm and this is the for spring. And this is just like, you don't have to yeah, wear sweet. the layer underneath. Yeah. So this is amazing with a skirt like this or under what you're wearing. It's the perfect, it's hard to figure out how to get your shirt oh my God, I love under that. your sweater and that it doesn't look bulky. And so we do this a lot like of This is a genius shirts. way of doing it. Yeah, it's shoes. so good. It's perfect. But this, this is, is nice. also a great weight. Because, you know, Fisherman Knit is normally bulky. Yes. This is a very fine Fisherman Knit. It's merino, and it's got a little version. Classic with a twist. So, I love yeah, this. Yeah, that's a classic I love with a twist. And then going back to neutrality and shirting, I love how you've also just done this little shirt tuck. In that's the a great jacket. That is a what great a novel, resort, novel approach. Resort fabric, resort color. I well, think we're with approaching a, with a cream <laughs> with a cream pant or jean that is the trouser amazing. with yeah. it is fabulous we love we just lo I, again like just love all of the different details within each I and mean, it's so important especially when we're thinking of like finding that jacket for you there's a different detail in each one of these pieces which just mm -hmm. makes it so special and so unique i'm so excited i feel like i've learned so much about oh, tailoring and about mm -hmm. like just the the jacket in general and how many ways you can wear it. I'm curious about what I'm sure our, our customers are too. I think if like there is, as we like, when you think of you, both of you, these independent, strong women that have built this brand from the ground up, your mothers, your wives, and you're just doing so much. I think like, what do you, what advice do you have for other female entrepreneurs out there that like that little secret that you could say, like this is something we look at within our company every single day and that's gotten us through? I think um, finding a partner is the greatest thing in the world. And we were so lucky, you know, we're, we're family. So there's a, like a bind and a bond that, that can't be broken in this business mm -hmm. for us. Um, Having the same name, we're in two places at once all the time, <laughs> which is really convenient. Um, but I think, you know, we always say that there's just like a line between not starting and starting. Yeah. And sometimes it's the scariest, you know, step you ever have to take. But just do it and baby steps. And, you know, we never 12 years ago imagined that this would be our business, you know. Yeah. And it's privilege of a lifetime to do it and it's so fun and we yeah. love it every day. Uh, I learned long ago when I was in finance and building a hedge fund, building a, a, a business, two things he said. One is don't build the stadium before the fans. So right. we started with this product, this hero product, and he also said stick to your knitting. 
-hmm. And so we didn't veer away. Instead of, you know, doing jackets and then doing jeans and then doing shoes, not only did we organically listen to the customer mm -hmm. and, and think about what does she want, what does she need from us, yes. but also we've evolved that jacket. And it was such an incredible, iconic piece. And you've got to stick to it and... and and nurture it and, you know, see it in different, you know, we've been doing... And change and stay the same. Right, right, we do it in suiting, we do it in different, you know, uh, fabrications, yeah. we do it with different dickies, like, we do the ones that are more like a coat, like yeah. this Aurea, you yeah. know, and we've, we've messed with the lengths. And so my point is just, you know, if you want to be behind something that's iconic or, or start something, stick to it because sometimes in the beginning it doesn't necessarily work out, right? And you're like, did they not get it? And if you just keep, you know, Veronica and I got on the road early too, and we told the story um, in New York, and we told it in yes. Kansas, and we told it in California, and we told it in the South, and we found that women are the same everywhere, and you know, we we, we rally behind women. We are a women for women's yes, brand, yes. Mm -hmm. and um, and it's women's time. So I think that's that's really what um, yeah, organic right. growth and sticking with your knitting. No, and I. I think that's so helpful and so insightful because as you both said, like you've really, like you've been out there, you've been on the road, you've been building this brick by brick since I, since I met you. And I think I what I appreciate so much is just, I remember that first sticky jacket and being obsessed about the dicky jacket. And I love, I'm not gonna give you a year count because that's gonna age me. Yeah, don't, longer. us all. So I'm don't not say going it. to, but. <laughs> It's so incredible to see that I see the dicky jacket today behind you. I'm wearing it, and I'm still so excited about it yeah. from a fashion point of view. So I just, I have to applaud both of you. Thank and you. Congratulate, because I don't so think we sweet. do that enough in our industry, but congratulations on building this brand. Keep going. We love what you do. Thank you. We you're love. an icon in this yeah. industry, by the way. <laughs> no, seriously. I mean, you've been doing the same thing since we've met you, only better, better, better. And now you <laughs> have this, you. this for everybody. Yes, yes. And like you both, it's a, it's a privilege and honor. But I want to thank you, thank you so much for coming to join us at SACS today. And I want to wish you both and your families and your children and the... Veronica Beard team, such a wonderful Thanksgiving and Me holiday too. season. So sweet. And please come back anytime. We're I know you're shop the store right now. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> We're gonna go and see our Thank our our stuff here too. Thank our shopping you. shop. And for all of you, you can check out the latest collection from Veronica Beard on Saks.com. So wishing you all a very happy holiday season from us. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.